What is up guys and welcome to the 60 frames a second experience. This is a great day for YouTube and it is a great day just for games in general because of course YouTube is the largest video sharing site in the world which means that people will watch it more than they watch anything else. Of course we have seen 60 frames a second video on other websites but they're just obviously not the same caliber as YouTube and bearing in mind that loads of people will use YouTube and won't even look at anything else unless it's absolutely necessary uh, this does mean a lot so 60 frames a second well, what we're watching here is crisis in 60 frames a second or at least it should be uh, we're recording this with Nvidia shadow play at a bitrate of 40 uh, so if that means anything to you uh, that's obviously the technical settings so what is 60 frames a second why does it matter well Obviously at the moment all videos on YouTube have been limited to 30 frames a second. Um, I believe even 24 frames a second wouldn't um, play back properly, but don't hold me to that. Oh, that's a good kill there. Um, so finally now we can have videos in 60 frames a second. So that matters really because when we're looking at video games in particular, um, then we're going to be saying about w whether it runs at 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second if it's on console and obviously if it's on PC uh, how easy is it to run so will you be getting 30 or 60 frames a second of course that uh, PC gamers can choose to opt for the middle ground and get something like 45 frames a second and things like that but unless you're using Nvidia G-Sync or if you're watching this in the future you might be using AMD's FreeSync technology um, then you're going to get either stutter or you are going to get tearing. So realistically, unless you have one of those options, you want to really choose between 60 or 30 frames a second for the perfect lock smooth experience. So, the beauty of having 60 frames a second on YouTube now is that you can see for yourself the difference and d decide whether that matters to you. Now, it's not such a big deal as some people might make out um, because frame rate, of course, changes the look and the feel of a game. Um, I will go out there and say that there is a massive difference in look between 30 and 60 frames a second. Absolutely massive. Um, but there's not such a big difference in look and feel at 120 frames a second as there is um, like the difference um, between 60... Uh, Right, I'll start that sentence again. The difference between 30 and 60 frames a second, um, the look of it is massive, but the difference in look between 60 and 120 frames a second, I would say actually the look of it isn't that different. Yes, it's smoother, but it's not such a big deal, and for me it's not really um, a necessary thing. However, talking about the feel is completely different. Of course the feel at 30 frames a second is completely different to the feel at 60, um, but there's also a massive difference um, for the feel of it at 60 frames a second and between 120 frames a second. 120 feels much, much, much more smooth uh, than 60 frames a second does. So while you're getting the look here, you're not getting the feel of the video. Probably could have explained that better. Uh, how do I do... I go explosive arrow, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Right. There we go. Done. Is he dead? Yes, that is dead. So, yeah, now you have more choice when you're looking at videos. I mean, would you rather watch one at 30 frames a second or would you rather want watch one at 60 frames a second? Well, you can watch them at 60 frames a second at the moment. I think it's only confirmed to be working on Google Chrome. Of course, YouTube is by his own. Does that not work? Google Chrome is, of course, owned by. Um, Google, as is YouTube, so that would kind of make sense, but I imagine they're all support it eventually in the end. Um, so yeah, would you rather watch a video in 30 frames a second, or would you rather watch a video in 60 frames a second? Well, I imagine most of you would say that you'd want a 60 frames a second. Well, the problem is, obviously, oh no, oh no. How do I blow it up? How do I kill it? How do I kill it? This isn't working, this isn't working, this is not working. There we go. Just going around frantically punching things. Uh, the problem is, obviously, to uh, get 60 frames a second while recording, you're going to need a really powerful rig. And uh, obviously, that's not such a big deal. Um, I've got quite a powerful rig as I'm doing it now. But that also means that if it's a really powerful game, um, I might have to dial some of the settings down slightly just for stability, like I have done here. This is Crisis 3 um, actually running. 
This is Crisis 3 actually uh, running at high settings rather than very high. And that is a theme that you might start to see throughout the channel if you opt for a 60 frames a second experience in your uh, in your gaming videos. Obviously uh, for the rest of my videos I will keep them uh, at 1080p at 30 frames a second and maybe I might do one at 720p at 60 just to uh, show you the difference of that but for gameplay I think most people will want to see it in 60 so do let me know in the comments below uh, what you want to see would you rather see games like this at the absolute highest settings and watch them at 30 frames a second or would you rather have them running at maybe slightly lower I mean look I'll show you um, we're, you know, we're not talking like a massive difference here, we've got everything on high rather than very high. But that's just because if we start dropping below the 60 frames a second then the video is going to get stutter and it won't be very good to watch. Um, obviously it won't be very good to play but, you know, we're interested in you actually watching this. Let's, let's take him from behind. What's going on? Yeah, so you leave me, let me know in the comments below. What do you want? Do you want 30 frames a second videos, or do you want 60 frames a second videos, but at maybe slightly lower settings? Hopefully, I will upgrade to uh, SLI based rig, and then it won't be an issue. But for now, I, it's just not really a financial option, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'm interested. Let me know. And also, obviously, what do you think of this video as well? Has it been? Uh, beneficial to see the 60 frames a second and uh, make sure obviously you've got it in the HD setting to actually get the difference in frames a second um, but of course if you want to sit in 30 frames a second then stick it in 480p and then you should get it back at 30 frames a second and then you'll be able to tell at least some of the difference so now we're going to turn this into a bit of a casual play video now we've talked about the differences in frame rate um, so we've actually got something to do uh, Crisis 3 I thought was a pretty good game, um, it was just way too short, it's definitely my um, best looking game I think that you've got, I think it is better looking than Rise, some people don't agree with me there but I think uh, this is just overall is obviously the better game anyway, I need to go over there, that should be alright. Yeah, but I haven't actually gone back and played this game since, um, I'm only doing it at the moment because I've been testing it out in 4K. Um, They've got to say that if you're using a mouse and keyboard, I'd still rather take 120 frames a second over uh, like 4K at like, you know, 40 any day of the week, to be perfectly honest. Um, you associate the smoothness with, for me, like with your experience, whereas obviously graphics can only go so far. No, I'll, I'll be quite interested to watch this video back myself and see the difference. I know there's loads of videos that are going to be going up, people are going to be jumping on the bandwagon, and you know, to an extent I have here as well. Um, by uploading 60 frames a second videos, but it is very good news, obviously for uh, well the industry really as a whole. Because at the moment, when people have been watching reviews, they're only relying on people actually saying, you know, how this game runs at 30 frames a second. But you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, that's what a lot of these uh, console reviewers say, unfortunately. And of course, we all know that it does matter. Um, Naughty Dog have said that they're aiming for 1080p at 60 frames a second. And if they actually manage to do that, which I'm, you know, I, I'm sure they will, they normally, I don't think they've often gone back on what they've said, um, then that will be absolutely fantastic because it will set the bar and obviously set the bar quite high. Now, there's not that much wrong with 30 frames a second other than the fact that I, I just would rather have the option. And one of the other things that frustrates me as well is if you're playing on a console and you're only using a 720p TV, then obviously there's no option to... Uh, lower the resolution, so even though you probably could run it at 30 frame, uh, 60 frames a second, you still have to put up with 60. Let's, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's get down here. If you're wondering why I picked Crisis, it's partly because it looks good, and partly because at the moment, ooh, partly because at the moment, for some reason, the internet connection around here is terrible. Uh, you may remember these things called traffic management policies. Uh, do you remember those? Um, well, what they've done now, I believe, um, is from what they've been explaining to me anyway, is that in the area, and they've re like got rid of the traffic management policy, but the traffic management policy was there for a reason. And, um, let's detach this. And so now, um, basically, loads of people are just, every time they, everyone uses the internet at the same time, everyone's internet just decides to fail because uh, they don't have like, the bandwidth for it. So, um, especially when it comes to uploading videos, there are times it's it just doesn't work and there's been a couple of times that the videos 
uh, have have stutter in them, and I can't really explain why, but it could be something to do with that. Um, I can't really explain. Where's he? Where did he come from? I did not see him. Yeah. Um, there's Battlefield 4 and what's the other one? Titan 4 are actually on sale uh, in the Origin Halloween uh, weekend. You can get Battlefield for about was it about £12.50 or something? Uh, maybe. And um, that might be worth looking into if you've been waiting for a sale. Titanfall, like I say as well, has been on sale. Uh, both those are pretty good games and games that are my go-to games if I want a bit of a uh, multiplayer fix. Crisis 3 has a decent multiplayer but it, I don't think it has enough longevity and I clearly don't know where I'm going. Here we go. Through here. Go, he's dead. Chop done. Down here. I'm actually managing to uh, play this at a solid 120 frames a second as well, so there should be no reason for the game to uh, dip in the video to below 60. But obviously, this is somewhat of a trial run. There we go. Okay, we're if you're wondering why there's no webcam as well, it's plainly because I'm trying to draw all attention to the uh, smoothness of the video rather than anything else. Oh, I like this bit. <laughs> if in doubt, start kicking stuff. That's normally what I do. Doesn't always go down that well. Romeo one. There we go. Sales power output is sixty-five percent and falling. Do. Mission accomplished. Oh no, you don't need, need to do that. Now. Move it. Let's go, 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 go. Cool. Yeah, so what games have you all picked up? I'm, I'm interested at the moment. There have been so many games come out, and I've been very fortunate to uh, be able to get my hands on pretty much um, all of them, with the exception of Borderlands um, and what was the other one? Uh, Civilization, which is a shame, because that's probably the, one of the ones I'd want the most. Um, but what have, you, yeah, what have you picked up? What have you been happy with? Do let me know. I am very interested in what everyone has to say. Um, obviously, the PC market, doesn't you don't always see how well they've been selling, so... I'm definitely interested, especially things like Rise. I mean, I wonder how many people actually picked that up. Um, when there were so many other games out at the moment, um, it didn't necessarily seem like the obvious choice. And obviously, uh, I kind of said, pretty much said that in my review. But well, impressions video. I need to go over there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's bowl. Let's bowl. There we go. Let's just tear through. Right. It's very satisfying, actually, playing this. Should play it more. I remember when it came out, I had I turned everything up to absolute max setting, and then we were playing it at about 35 sec, 35 uh, frames a second. And that was just a mistake. Should have knocked it down a little bit. Should have played it like this. I think it went much much better. Then then again, I had one I had 1680 back then, so uh, that was actually more the reason. Right, it needs to it needs to go down. Do we? Okay. Oh yes. Oh yes, I remember. Romeo 1, we've gained a 60-minute window on the primary target. You have multiple cell units moving on your position. Do not jeopardize the goddamn mission now. And this should just about wrap up this video. So thank you so much for watching the 60 frames a second experience. What have you uh, thought it's been like? Has it been worth the wait? Um, or has it been a massive disappointment? Or has something gone horribly wrong um, at my end? Or... YouTube then or something. Uh, like I say, do you want to see more videos like this in 60 or are you perfectly happy with sticking to maybe a slightly higher quality 30? I know what I would probably say, I'd probably go with 60, um, but you know, I'm not my audience so it doesn't really matter. So as I said, thanks for watching, uh, give it a like if you thought this video was good, give it a dislike if you thought this video wasn't very good. Either way, uh, subscribe to PC Centric if you like videos like this and more on PCs, gaming and technology. And until the next video, I will see you next time.